Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to the, probably my biggest match review that I've made so far this season. And that was on the Bristol City Sunderland game. Last one is 3-3. Free free. I'm, I sound like very excited right now because I, I remember like I'm also kind of like shocked, like shocked at the same time that I've actually been able to do this. Because Sunderland normally in the situation then we, we probably would have gone on to like maybe lose like 4 or 5 nil. But didn't then we actually went on then to pick up a point here which is unbelievable. I'm really, I'm, I'm so shocked right now. But I'm put up, I'm put all that aside so I can give this match review for you. So Sunderland, um, we made we made a couple of changes to the team that lost against Itchers last week. Camp in goal, a back five of Jones, Browning, O'Shea, Clark, Sutton, of the Edo, in midfield three of Honeyman, Catamore, and Ajaria, and in front we had the Sora and Thatcher. Subs at Steele, Lawala, Wa, McGeady, Madger, Love, Good, and Ethan Robson. Bristol City they had Fielding in goal, Brownhill, Flint, Wright, and Brian at the back. Kent, Smith, Park and Patterson, midfield and Reed and Deju, I don't know if it's his name, up front. I know, um, basically, and basically, and basically, and the match started out with Bristol City taking the lead. They, um, it took them within five minutes in Flint. And obviously, as the case of match today, so I didn't really, really follow the match that well, so I had to rely, had to rely on some, um, of some, of some people to help us with the score on that. And, yeah, I, I'm just again. I, I thought, I'm sorry, guys. I like. I, I might like sound like it's just. I'm so shocked. But obviously, Infant put um Bristol's ahead, close range, finished for five minutes in, and I just knew that it just wasn't going to be our day. And then tomorrow, did you up um made a two 0 I think it was about thirty thirty minutes or so, and then and they made the three 0 again about almost on half time, and I was just I like I wasn't annoyed. I was just I was I was, I was actually almost like like expecting this to happen. I like I wasn't like annoyed at all. Again, I, I, was, I was disappointed, obviously. But, you know, um, but it, obviously, this has become like really like normal for me now, so I was kind of like expecting it at the same time. And, and then, second half kicked off, and as I was expecting it to be, then Bristol to win, we're going 4 0. But didn't then Josh Brownhill, um, own goal, put us back in the game at 3 1. I don't know what minute that was. In, and then in McGeady came on in about the 73rd minute, he scored. Um, not long after that, about ten minutes after that, puts three two, and I was I was thinking that that wasn't gonna do it, but then I remember that anything if football anything's possible, and I can think oh yeah Man City QPR, um anything happened now. I did happen is and then Marlon Park in the ninety second minute scoring own goal, and like I well, I, well like I wasn't going crazy, and um, when that happened, but like I was still like very very, um excited. After that. And uh, and uh, um and I can see like a couple of Sunderland sports like who also the good to match, who will and um, they were also excited but like obviously they weren't like screaming their heads off or anything like that. And you know it was just like I said Sunderland, I um obviously, I'm I'm not match stats um Bristol City they they had more position shots so it was actually um both teams both teams actually had thirteen shots I'm sure like Bristol pretty much recorded pretty much all most of them that's in the first half. Shot and target, obviously Bristol obviously got more. But obviously, uh, obviously our shot and target obviously led to the goals. And um, one more corners and we committed less fouls. So, you know, that's alright. But obviously, when it's, when it's just a sudden now, I mean, we, we're still 23rd. Obviously, due to the Hull getting the big win at Nightingale Forest. I think that means that Birmingham, I just, so I think Bart, Bolton might have dropped in the relegation. That going, guys, don't quote me on that. But yeah, I think either Bolton or Birmingham just not dropped into, 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 into 22nd. Because of Hull's victory, also I'm still on the bottom, but I mean in terms of fixtures coming up next, we've got Brentford at home next weekend, which is not going to be an easy game. Then we've got Bolton six point, and they got Middlesbrough, which is automatic defeat since we can't beat Borough. And I, I, I'm for Bristol City. I mean, like um, I don't know if they're still in the playoffs or not, but then um, they, but like then I think this could, I think it's their tenth game. Like, like um, where they've only picked up like like um, we once in the last ten games, which is which is really great for them. Considering what kind of season that they have had, and I mean like, and this is actually a fun fact, cause like and this game here, it this came exactly a year to the day that Bristol City, um, Bristol, 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 Bristol City were actually doing three 0 down at Derby and came back to win. I sorry, to draw three three. So I, I don't know, I just I just found that out. So I tell you guys, tell you guys that. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly give my my. my I actually I can't really give player ratings so, so since um since I didn't go to the match I can't see it. 
So guys, I know that this, this reveal like wasn't as good as my other ones, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't watch the match. I'm just basically looking at a source. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, um, subscribe if you're new. That make it feel good. And the next episode, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.